Hello, my name is John Brooks with Frank Building Products. I'm here today to talk to you about Thermal Buck and Thermal Tight. Thermal Buck is a mounting system for windows and doors when you're using continuous insulation. Thermal Buck creates a flush plane for you to attach your cladding while creating a new rough opening that's insulated and waterproof. Thermal Tight is our continuous insulation solution that's used to manage the four control layers of your wall assembly to protect your wall and insulate. The first steps to installing the Thermal Tight system is to install Thermal Buck. We need to verify the rough opening is one inch wider and one inch taller than the window manufacturer's suggested rough opening. When cutting Thermal Buck, cut it a sixteenth and eighth of an inch shorter than the inside of the rough opening to leave room for sealant. Dry fit the first few pieces to make sure that they are not too tight and have slight room for movement. After cutting the pieces of thermal buck, apply three 3 8 beads of DAP Dynaflex 800 sealant to the back of each piece of thermal buck. Install the first piece of thermal buck into the opening, then seal the ends of the thermal buck and install the next. After all the pieces of thermal buck are installed, align the corners. Firmly push the thermal buck into the rough opening and drive an inch and a half roofing nail through the tongue every 10 to 12 inches. Check all the transitions for sealant ooze out. Add sealant where needed, forcing sealant into the gaps. Smooth all excess sealant at all transitions. Once the thermal buck is installed, it's time to install the Z-strip at the bottom of the wall. After the Z-strip is installed, flash the Z-strip to the wall with a 4-inch Brink flashing tape. Once you have the Z-strip installed, there's two different methods of installing the panels. One would be a friction fit where you would not add any sealant. The second would be a sealed transition where you would place a 3 8 inch bead on the outward facing arm of the Z-strip to place the panel into. Before installing your panel into the Z-strip, cut the bottom flap to match the thickness of the panel that you are using. Once you've cut that bottom flap to match the thickness of the panel you are using, tape the flap at a couple places along the length of the panel to hold it against the panel before inserting the panel into the Z-strip. Once we've set the panel into the Z-strip, it's time to attach the panel. We do this with ring shank cap nails. We do this on 12 inch centers on the outside edges, making sure to stay at least two inches away from the outside edge of the panel and 16 inch on center on the interior of the panel. We will remove the upward facing flap because it will not be used. The flap from the panel placed above this row will be used to cover this seam in a properly shingled fashion. Insert a thermal tight panel above the first row, ensuring the flap from the upper panel covers the panel below. Then fasten with ring shag cap nails. Before placing the next vertical panel, remove the flap from the panel in place or remove the flap from the panel you will be placing because only one flap is needed to seal the transition. Now that we have the thermal tight panels installed, it is time to tape the seams. The vertical seams will need to be sealed before the horizontal seams. Apply Brink double sided seam tape to the face of the trim panels. Remove the backer to expose the adhesive, then place the flap over the adhesive. Roll the flap to ensure good adhesion, then repeat this process for the horizontal seams.
Once we have the seams taped, it is time to flash the seal of thermal buck to the thermal type panel. This is done to complete the water and air barrier at the seal location while allowing the window to drain to the exterior of the water barrier if the window would leak. Cut the flashing tape to match the outside width of the jam legs. Center the tape inside the rough opening. Adhere the tape 2 inches inside the sill, then up the inside of the jam legs. Cut the tape at the outside face of the jam leg. Adhere the tape to the face of thermal buck and over the thermal type panel for a good water and air seal. Before installing the windows, check the sill for level. Place shims if needed. Use one square inch of shim for every 40 pounds of window. Install window according to window manufacturer's instruction. Fasten windows through thermal buck with a number 10 screw or nail, angled slightly to ensure good penetration into the center of the framing. Fasteners must penetrate a minimum of 1 and 1 quarter inches into the stud for structural attachment. Apply flashing tape to each jam, starting at the top edge of thermal buck and ending at the bottom edge of thermal buck. Tape should cover the nail flange thermal buck and a transition to the thermal type panel. Now that the jams are flashed, it is time to flash the head. Cut the flashing tape to extend 2 inches past the outside edge of the jam tape. The tape should cover the nail flange, thermal buck, and a minimum of 2 inches onto the thermal type panel. Roll the tape to ensure a good water and air seal.